Hey, Tim here again. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but got four new things to show you today. And without further ado, let's get to it. Hold on. Are you? I'll just cut it up. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. The first thing we got is a Euromastix, a Saharan Euromastix. This guy is yellow. And these are both, I have two, they're both males. There's what his tummy looks like. Both very, very tame. I'm gonna take a little pet under the chin when he calms down once you get him out. And you can see he's been warm, so his back is nice and yellow. And then when he cools down, he gets darker. But his belly is always yellow like this, and the spines on his tail. And we have another one in here. It was a little more skittish. He's the last one that we've got. And he is more orange. Maybe see his back is orange and his tummy is very bright orange and underneath of his face and he's the same way once he gets out and gets settled down he's pretty tame and these guys like a dry hot environment because they're from the desert so a lot different in keeping them than ball pythons um, I put these ceiling tiles. These are actually ceiling tiles off of my house um, that I disinfected and uh, sprayed down with, uh, with the chlorhexidine. So I'm going to go ahead and put him in here. So like I said, they're, they're desert dwellers. So the substrate is rock. And I give them a little bit of water, and then they have arugula and spinach. They are strictly vegetarian, so that's what they eat. Their hot spot, which more than most reptiles, is between 100 and 120 degrees. With I have the lights on uh, 10 hours a day. And they like to bask right on that tile where it's nice and warm. All right, so that's the Euromastix. They're both males. They have a yellow and a red one. All right, the next thing I picked up is to go with my other het clowns. This is a female lesser het clown. And there she is over the next couple of years. I'm going to make some... Uh, some clowns and some clown combinations. You can see she's got beautiful colors. She's nice and healthy. Um, she's had two feedings here and she's eating frozen thawed weaned rats. But yeah, nice and healthy. Beautiful snake in my opinion. Hopefully make some lesser clowns in the future. But she is lesser 100% het clown female. And she's trying to get away. And our last addition to the family that we got is a friend of my daughter's uh, went away to basic training, so she needed somewhere to keep her ball python, so I told her we'd take her. Him, sorry. His name is Jack Daniels, and he is a male normal. And he is chunky. So this is Jack Daniel, Jack Danger Daniel. Danger is his middle name. So I'm thinking about putting him to some uh, some of my multi-gene females just to separate out the genes. But yeah, you can see very healthy, nice and thick. He's about five years old, so he's relatively small for how old he is. Relatively short, but once again, a beautiful snake, beautiful some beautiful patterns. Nice looking belly there. And he loves to be handled. She handled him a lot, so he's very tame. So yeah, that's Jack Danger Daniels. <laughs> so 
so that's all our latest uh, additions to the family. Um, we're still putting a couple of snakes together. We had a few locks. Um, I have a Enchi male that's going in with my Enchi bumblebee female. So they've locked up a few times. I can give you a show of her. She's getting nice and thick. And she's been hanging out around her bowl uh, in the cooler part. So I'm, I'm guessing she's... Uh, She's cooling down, and I'm, it looks like she's building eggs, so I'm hopeful for that. Hoping to get some super Enchi bumblebees. I think that would be kind of cool. And I can show you the Enchi that she's been paired up with, which is this guy here. And he's a rescue that I got for free from the pet store. If you've seen my previous videos, you, you've seen him before. And then the other one I'm trying to breed, which I haven't seen any lockups yet, but this is... Female, it's either pastel or super pastel. If you have any ideas, you can tell me. But this is a rescue that uh, it had some problems. It had some, uh, I believe it was scale rot that uh, got healed up. But uh, yeah, still is pretty scarred. But I've been uh, matching her up with this guy. Hoping that we can get some uh, some super pastel pieds possibly would be the ideal. But pieds, super pastel pieds, or sorry, it's not going to be pieds. They'll be all be 100% het pied, but we could get pastels and super pastels. So yeah, that's the only two pairings that I've done. Um, I don't have any other females that are of breeding size yet. So that'll be next year, but for, as for right now... Um, that's what we're doing as far as breeding. I have the incubator ready. I have my tubs ready. Got some easy hatch trays. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to that. I'm hoping that the, uh, the entry bumblebee goes this year. That would give me at least one, uh, clutch of eggs that I can, it'd be my first clutch. So hopefully I won't screw it up and, uh, have some babies. Uh, I got a lot of friends that, that want snakes, but, uh, so ask me if I could, could give them snakes or sell them snakes. So hopefully, um, if I get super inches, obviously I'm going to keep them myself, at least one of them for a holdback. Um, other than that, yeah, I got a lot of little ones growing up, putting on size, eating good. And uh, in the next couple of years, we're going to have some, some pretty cool breeding going on. Um, other than that, if you got something else you'd like to see in one of my videos, please drop a comment down below. Um, please give me a thumbs up, uh, share and, and subscribe, turn on that notification bell. So, you know, when I post again, and once again, sorry about the distance between posts, but, uh, yeah, life has been pretty busy with work. I've been traveling a lot. And, uh, so yeah, I'm going to try to do it more often, try to do it every couple of weeks, but I want to have good content for you too, and not just show a bunch of, of garbage. So, um, my next one, or next couple probably, I'm going to go through all my snakes again because I think it's been about a year since I've shown all of my snakes. So a lot of them have grown, a lot of them have changed. So uh, that'll probably be my next couple of videos. It'll be just kind of an update on all of my snakes. Um, we have 26 now, two leopard geckos and two Euromastics and three dogs. So we got a house full of animals and uh, we love animals. And uh, yeah. Um, I don't know how many of you, uh, know who, who Forrest Miss, um, he is a conservationist, um, just an awesome guy. If you've seen Brian Cusco's, uh, posts, if you've seen Brian Barczyk, um, just about all the biggest names in the industry have done videos with him. He knew a lot about everything, um, that when it comes to herpticulture, Alligators, crocodiles, uh, lizards, boa constrictors, ball pythons. I mean, you name it, he was into it. He was into making sure that species that were dwindling in numbers and that were going extinct were, were being taken care of. And uh, unfortunately, he passed away last week. And there is a GoFundMe page. His name is, is Forrest Fanning. And... Uh, if you could go on there and throw a couple of cents his way, um, his he has a wife and a I believe it's just under a year old daughter or son. I'm not sure, um, but um, yeah, suddenly happened. He was 34 years old. Um, if you could 
if you could spare a couple dollars to donate to the family, that would be awesome. It's a great loss in the in the ball python and the reptile community in general. Um, if I'll find the link to the GoFundMe page and I will post it down in the description below. Um, so thoughts and prayers with with his family. And that's about it. Um, I will see you hopefully in a week or two. Um, stay safe. I hope your uh, your breeding and your snake projects are going well. And I will see you in a couple of weeks. Again, this is Tim from Spoonman Ball Pythons. I will see you in the next one. Peace.